All right, Cindy, what's up? Nothing. Uh, uh, see uh, you uh, again. See you. <laughs> you know, every time I see you, we have something in common. Uh huh. The colors. Oh, no. Yes, even last time. What's happening? You. you it is you. You're copying me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll come on to the show. Thank you. You okay? Thanks. Yes, I'm You're looking good. sexy. I'm a little tired, but I'm good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. How is it? It's, uh, it's busy, as you can see, but it's good. I didn't expect a lot of media because, you know, Rema had, um, had a press conference the same day. Yes, yeah, so I was a bit worried, mm -hmm. but I'm glad that when they were done, they came through. Everybody came through. Yeah, here. we had to mobilize. But anyways, how is the pressure? The pressure is up. <laughs> pressure is up, up. Mm. Yes, with everybody in my team. Yes, mm. everyone is up. But it's a good thing. When you do things on pressure, you do to impress. And that's a good thing. Yes. And too worried. Mm, I'm worried. Yes. yes, I have worries, but I brush them off. How? <laughs> I just say stop, mm. stop, mm. concentrate. You know some people put a D&D &D on their rooms, on their hotel rooms, on their houses mm. during this time. Have mm. you done so? No, I haven't. So you're allowing everyone to come and disturb you? What do you mean by D&D? &D? Do not disturb. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like such a fella now. Eh? <laughs> Why did you just say don't disturb? <laughs> well, uh, you, I can't do that because as an artist, uh, you uh, you belong to the people. So you have to kind of be open and be close at the same time. Like you need to show them you can approach me. And then also have the thing, but I am busy. You know what I mean? So you can't really close off. I can't do that. Okay, so uh, let's, let's put this straight. Most cases, they tend not to perform anyway until the D-Day. Yeah, We've so. seen you perform at yes. Autospa last Friday. Cindy, uh -huh. Kachi. <laughs> For me, the performances have been really short. It has been like one song. Because I, because I wanted to remind the people. But every time I step on stage, I'm like, please, one song, one song, one song. So I end up doing that one song. But it has been about let me go and talk to them. The truth is, when you have a big venue, you cannot do enough advertising. We cannot afford it. You need banners. You need, you need so many things, which, you know, the budget is crazy. So what you do is that you do what you can with the resources. And then the rest will gatawo. So that's what I've been trying to do. I've been going to gigs and, like, if I have to, I do one song and then announce the concert. Okay, last but not least, I'm asking, uh, if you are a singer, they sell them mm. to, to promoters and stuff. Mm. Is this a Cindy owned event or all Cindy sold off this event? This is definitely a Cindy owned event. It's a star maker event. There's been no promoter. In the very beginning, when we started, there was no promoter who believed in our dream. Oh, no. Really? But every you're a big promoter, brand. Every promoter thought I would fail at, uh, at, at Lugogo Cricket Over. Yes, they thought, yes, you're a big brand, but you're a chick. Mm. You know what I mean? Bakadeja. Everyone said that, yes. So mm. they didn't, no promoter was willing to believe with us. Mm. So no, it's a stomacher thing. Where does this live, Cindy? Mm. Still as the king herself. Uh -huh. Yeah, baby. Won't you just be like, uh, and then Cindy's like, yeah. then Cindy's like mm, I don't think so. Listen, if I fail, I fail at Lugogo Cricket Oval. That's oh, not small. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. not small. If I win, mm. I win at Lugogo Go Cricket <laughs> Oval. Yeah, 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 but that is still levels. <laughs> so know. either way, mm. I feel like I don't lose. Okay. Yes. Yes, I might have some bills to deal with. Mm. <laughs> I you know, getting out of the <laughs> concert <laughs> and then... Yes, <laughs> there will be some bills to deal with, but I'll be good. Are we seeing the family? I mean the kids coming through with yeah. you on stage? I've so been right. trying to do it. My daughter is so shy. She is so shy. She's just like me because I used to be just uh, uh, Cindy. No, this, uh, this is the story I used to be. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> I used to be really shy, so she's just like me. I've been, to, I've been trying to get her to do because I've been trying to tell her just walk on mm. and walk okay. off. That's it. But she keeps saying, "By the people, what will I do?" Mm. Now she's like, "Can I wear shades? Can you know all this?" So I'm trying to get her to do just like like five seconds, ten seconds on stage. All right, we'll be waiting for that I, uh, definitely on the 7th at oh. Lugogo of March, this very month. Actually, what are you make? Yeah, just four days to go. Rehears, uh, rehearsals, Dede? Rehearsals, Kriya Nyo. Dancers, Kriya Manyo, we Gali Vibu, we Rish. What was the search? Te wali, ndia mele. Kale ita avantu. Eat well. And you know what, let's talk about that. Here's the thing. There's a Luganda saying that. We, we have six minutes, remember. Your yes, manager is watching me. This I have to say, it's important. <laughs> there's there's that, that saying in Luganda that says, Gava Mukuria. Oh. That is true. So kawunga, matoke, rumonde, what? Properly, eat your food properly. Uroza gololaga jawaba gambaria. 
Oh, she said, get it. And now you are OG. So, eat well. Okay. But otherwise, yeah. on the 7th of March, is the Boom Party concert at Logogo Cricket Over. I need you. Come through. The ordinary ticket is 20, VIP 50, and a table for all the bosses is a million shillings. Shiba? I don't know. Lillian? Kiria. Jackie? I don't know. Cam Camillian? I don't know. Bobby Wine? I don't know. Where are you? Kenzo is there. <laughs> <laughs> we love you so much. This is live and direct from Cindy and me, the king himself, and the king herself. We love you so much. Bye-bye. Talent that uh, we have all appreciated through the years. Uh, we are a team that has come together to back up Cindy for her upcoming show, as you know. I'll allow each one of us to introduce ourselves. And then we'll uh, comment. Thank you very much. If I can start, my name is uh, Peace Menya Chibirige. I am uh, representing Radio City. Uh, we <laughs> uh, thank you very much. We definitely uh, are excited to be a part of uh, City's show as uh, we'll be talking more about uh, what to expect and um, how you can come and support true Ugandan talent. Um, my name is Daphne Charigonza. I'm the proprietor of Charigonza Fashion and also Cindy's manager. Thank you guys for being here for us. Yeah, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is <coughs> Hubbard. Um, from the house of Tasca Malt, that is UBL. We are also very, very excited to be with you guys today. And as Tasca Malt, we are into celebrating the great, most talented lady music uh, musician in, in, in Cindy. She's not only very talented, but she's very hardworking. And uh, as TML, we want to be a part of Team Cindy. It's very exciting. I can't wait to be the number one ambassador as TML to run the show. And remember, this is a, like have made the you know, biggest show yes. in such a massive place. Yes. We are, as Tasca Malt, going to give you the best experience you could probably ever uh, you know, thought of. And trust you me, this is going to go, we are going to bring down that place. And we are also going to set up a serious musical, you know, lounge where lots of goodies are going to be uh, given out. And remember, this is not my press conference as TMA, but it's in this, <laughs> seen this boom party. Yes. Yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Should I go next? I should? Yes, I'll go last. Okay. All right. I'll wait. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ivan. I'm representing Nexus Events. And we are so proud to be part of the Boom Party concert because we know the talent Cindy actually has. We, we work with her closely at the other place, Nexus Lounge, where we're actually selling tickets. Mm -hmm. So we are very excited to be part of this show. Um, Desire, Derek Ford Mugumisa is my name. PR and Communications Officer for Next Media Services here for NBS and Samuka Television, our brands that are our TV brands that we put forward for this particular concert. Cindy, of course, is uh, a big part of our business. She's great content, she's a great performer. And if you are a top performer like we are, you want to associate with Cindy, so we're glad to be here. Yeah. Well, you've heard it from uh, the people who have believed in talent from uh, the king herself. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Finally, um, if you've watched Cindy perform, she's by far one of the best entertainers. I personally am a big fan. I, I'm always there cheering her on. And um, clearly, now we want to take it to a bigger stage mm -hmm. where everyone can be included and we can get to really get to appreciate Indeed. great talent, talent that is grown from here. We, we saw Cindy start from uh, day one, mm -hmm. followed her career, and now we've come to a platform where we have to, you know, we have to uplift our talent while, you know, before other people, other countries come in and start saying, oh, this is a great talent. Mm. So uh, without further ado, let's have uh, Miss Cindy give us a few words. All right. 
First of all, thank you so much for coming through today. When, when we uh, were deciding on the date, I wasn't sure because, as you know, we have another artist who, has, uh, who had a press conference today. So I'm really grateful that you could all, you could all make it today. Uh, my name is Cindy, Cindy Sanyu. Uh, most people know me as just Cindy or Cindy Biebe. And uh, with time, I've got to build myself into the king herself. I am just mostly grateful for everybody who has come through, especially the, the in-house team right here. This wouldn't be possible without God and without you guys who are here. And then, of course, the media. You've been, you've been there through my career from the very beginning in Blue 3, even before that, until now. So I, I am grateful that I have partners to work with, and I hope that we can, we can do this together. Cricket Ovo is a huge, huge ground. As a person, I cannot... I can't handle it, but with the help of everybody in here today, we can actually make this happen. So I'm grateful. Uh, so if we have any questions from the media, that should be, this would be the right time for you to hold any questions, any inquiries, um, clarification. It's happening on the 7th of uh, March. March. Uh, please come through, get to opening at 5 p.m. Uh, you can get the tickets right now from next uh, from Nexus. Nexus Lounge. You can get them from Charlie Gon's uh, fashion stores. Mm -hmm. uh, which which are the locations? Um, Mtinda, Freedom City, Chiburi, Kabalagala, Bunga, Zambia. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Basically everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> on, <laughs> yeah, no valley, please. Uh -huh. And oh, you can also go online. That's yes. uh, RG, RG Ticket. Yes. Yes. Dot com, and uh, be able to purchase your ticket. It's as free as 20,000 shillings, ordinary, <laughs> 50 k VIP, and 1 million for a table for that, eh? Yeah. I want to, want to feel like both is. <laughs> um, but for our media partners, um, that's you, the press. If you have any questions for us, that would be great. No one? Cindy, what should we expect? <laughs> 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 Throughout the years, I've tried to keep my performance at more than 100%. Because every artist, when they come on stage, they give 100%. But I have tried to do 150% and even more every time. So for the Boom Party concert, I'd like to do that 10 times bigger. Uh, usually, I use a band and just four dancers. This time, I'm doubling the dancers to 10 dancers. And uh, the band usually is just the usual six instrumentalists. But now we have 10 instrumentalists just to make it even richer and actually change styles of, uh, of most of the songs. So people through the years have been watching me do live. So they, they pose the question, they're like, we've seen you do live with your band. Yeah, so many times. So what is going to be different? everything has flipped you know like we flipped everything i've been working closely with ebu who also is my official agent but also he's uh, the sound he deals with all the sound engineering of the band so i've been asking my team how do we make this work how do we make it different for everybody and we have flipped every song every choreography just to make sure that when you come you get something you have never seen so we are working with the best of the best with costumes charlie gonza teaming up with the savannah boulevard uh, working on the costumes and then of course Tasca Mold uh, coming in and UBL has been supportive all my concerts and I'm really really grateful yes and then just we've been working with absolutely the best to make sure that we give you um, I want you to watch the show and understand why we had to bring it to Lugogo Cricket Oval and not anywhere else because in the beginning we had options of, of other places even though Serena was not available because we wanted that so the other options were there but because of the vision we had we thought this cannot fit anywhere else apart from at Lugogo Cricket Oval so we chose it so to answer your question it's even bigger it's the king herself as you know her but like 10 times bigger so um i'm going to be the journalist here yeah because <laughs> they're not being journalists <laughs> um you have um you've had quite um, the controversial couple of weeks yes with uh, people saying um you you, you didn't want um, well a bit lukewarm mm -hmm. if i should put it lightly yes artists um, but now you have a couple of artists that have come on board. A lot. To, um, <laughs> to support. Yes. And uh, come come through and just be a part of your concert. Yes. Um, how did you, what, what criteria did you go through to select these people that have come on board to mm. come and be a part of your show? 
Well, I, with this, I'm going to be absolutely honest. Uh, when you do a concert, it's not like we pay artists so we have a budget. It's always like scratch my back and I scratch yours. So usually you end up with people who either support you as an artist or like are your friends. So that is what happens. In the very beginning, a lot of artists and promoters and people in the industry did not believe in this at all. I had so many people tell me, you're not ready for that place. You cannot do it. You're just, first of all, you're a woman. You know, you're just a chick. So you can't cannot do Lugogo cricket over, you have time, change it. And then they would call Daphne and call Dennis and be like, you guys, change the venue, change the venue. And then in the middle, we had Eddie Kenzo, who every, we all thought uh, we were going to do the same date. And then that was a problem as well. So many artists were reluctant to support me in the very beginning because they also felt the same thing. I can understand because even me, I have no role models for Lugogo cricket over. So it was a huge dream. So in the beginning, they were reluctant. But with time and with the support from the fans, and then, of course, the, sp the sponsors coming in, they start to believe, you know what? <laughs> you know, so when that happened is when we started getting this call back. So, oh, you know, I'm interested. Can we work it out? Can we work it out? And that's how, that's how we, we've got, uh, we've got Clever J, we have Coco Finger, we have uh, Kent and Flosso, we have Rubber Dabba, we have Biaxi. Like, there's so many artists who are coming to be, uh, who are going to be part of this. We also have uh, uh, Silver X from Sudan, you know, who's coming coming in. So right now they, you know, they joined in like in the last one week because of that. So it's, uh, it was hard, yeah, because even me, they told me and I kept, I would tell myself, it's true, I am just a chief. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're right. But I thought every big thing in this world has been started by somebody who was willing to take a risk. You know, so I thought if a woman loses at Lugogo Cricket Oval, either way you win because you lost at Lugogo Cricket Oval, and then if you win, you win at Lugogo Cricket Oval, so it's even that much bigger. So I thought about the big picture. I want to be part of that voice that inspires a child deep in the ghetto, or like I don't care where they're from, to be like, you know what, a chick did that. I can do even better, or I can do that. So I thought of it as a really uh, much bigger than just myself, and 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 we started. That, that was, uh, it was like, you know, let's just do this. Yes, and then, and then we did it. Yes, it had to be like that. I think throughout history, everything that has been huge has been started by one stupid person, you know, who everybody thought, what a stupid idea. Like, who does he think he is? Who does she think she is? And I thought I need to be one of those people who everybody says, who the hell does she think she is? So I dared, and I'm glad that you guys supported me.